Hi, my name is Nikia Exantis, and today I'm going to show you how to sing notes with power and strength and to sing without tiring out. Many of my clients say that whenever they're prepping for an audition or they're doing a performance, they tend to get tired. Their voice gets tired and they're unable to sustain certain notes. And it's usually an issue with either posture a diaphragm which involves the breathing and also just relaxing the body so i'm going to show you a few techniques that you can do to make sure that you're properly using your body to accomplish your mission so the first things first you want to make sure that you're standing correctly proper posture so you want to make sure that both feet are slightly apart not too far apart but slightly and slightly bent knees you want to have control over your body so you want to make sure that you're in a firm position, but it's not like a militant type position. So you want to relax, feet apart slightly, slightly bent knees. The next big thing is here. You want to make sure that the air comes through okay, where you're able to project. So you want to make sure that your back or your shoulders are back and down, again, okay? back and down. You never want to have this kind of stance. Back and down and relax. You can actually move your body a bit so that you can feel more relaxed and feel that you're getting ready to use it, okay? So the next thing is the diaphragm, a very important aspect of singing. You need to sing from your diaphragm in order to control your breathing. So I want you to try this exercise. First of all, you're going to put your hand on your stomach or your diaphragm area, right where the belly button is. And you're going to take a deep breath through the nose, just a nice deep breath. And you should see or feel the diaphragm expand just slightly, not a whole lot. You don't want to see any of this, all right? That looks painful. You don't want to do that. So again, take a nice little deep breath through your nose and just fill the diaphragm with some air. Once you have that air in there, then you want to slightly let the air out like so. And you want to do that for as long as you can. Now remember, you don't want to ever push or force your body to do something it doesn't want to do. You want to be able to sing the way you speak. So when you're taking a deep breath in, again, you don't want all that air to come into the chest area. So you can even look in, in a mirror. A mirror will tell you. If you're looking in a mirror and you notice that this happens or this happens when you're taking a deep breath in, that's incorrect. You want most of the work to happen through the diaphragm. So let's try again. So take a deep breath in through your nose and let it out slightly. So that's it. And you don't want to push either. When the air is coming out, let, just think of a, a balloon. You're letting the air out just gradually and it's just deflating. You don't want to push or overextend your body or do anything extra. So the next thing you wanna do now is always try with a note. So we're gonna try that now to use notes and apply the technique that we just did. So we're gonna use the note ooh or the syllable ooh. And you're gonna use the syllable ooh to project your voice and to sustain a note. So I'm going to demonstrate first for you. So if you notice, I didn't take a huge breath, but I was able to sustain that note for quite some time, going up and down, up and down. So let's try that together. Easy, right? Again, you want your body to be relaxed in order to do what you need to do. So let's try with some other notes. Ready and
So that was an octave. An octave is eight notes apart from A to A. So again, take your time with these things. You want to slowly build. You want to build with your diaphragm. So you're going to work on the breathing technique. Very important. Always keep in mind to work on your posture. Always keep that in mind that you're not hunched over, which will stop the air from coming through. You want to sit up nice and straight or stand up nice and straight, whichever is best for you. So let's just try that one more time, just a little slower, just to get the idea that you want to hit each note. And you can use a metronome as well to help you keep a constant tempo. And then when you feel comfortable, challenge yourself and then increase the tempo in your metronome. So I want to demonstrate to you that if you apply all these techniques, if you work on your posture and you also work on your breathing techniques and you do these exercises every day, you just want to do a little bit every day, then you'll be able to have control over the notes. So let me demonstrate. I'm just using the words, you are my star. You are my star. You are my shining star. Enjoy your practicing. Remember, you want to work on your posture. You want to sing from the diaphragm. And you work on the ooze. Slowly but surely, you'll get there.